totally fine. We'll still have our minutes intact. So my name is Malaki Vilo Dara. You know the drill. Every Wednesday and Thursday, I get to look at your business-related challenges and get to give you solutions. But today's a special day. So we did receive a question from Hakim, and I have someone special for you, Hakim, this morning to just take you through his experiences in the same space. But first off, let's take a listen to Hakim's question. Good morning, morning at NTV. My name is Akiga Hakim. I am trying to start up a business. I want to buy a plotter machine and a heat press. Now, I tried purchasing it on some local online shop. They gave me a price, but actually I'm going to consult them. The price that I've given me, not, it is not an actual price. The price had to double. After doubling, I had to decide whether buy one machine or save to get all of them. Now I want to know from you people, how would you advise me? Should I still save or buy one machine then save to get another machine? Thank you. Hakim, thank you so much for your question. You do want to get into the printing business and congratulations on that. So today's conversation will be on how you can go about establishing and running a profitable printing business. And in studios, I'm joined by one winner or one leader in that particular sector, Mr. Jamil Chabag Chagaba, beg your pardon, he is the CEO of Data Line Graphics. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. His company, by the way, was also the winner of the top 100 missiles companies in 2018. Congratulations on Thank that you. as well. All right, so we did have a question from Hakim. He says that he wants to start off this business in the printing space, but the first challenge he has faced is getting his machinery. The printing, um, pretty much the plotter machine and the heat press. Now what he says is, he went to this particular local online shop they gave him a quotation, he decided to go to their shop, and all of a sudden, miraculously, the prices doubled. What would you tell him first on that particular challenge that he has faced? Okay, Akim, I can reply in this way. Uh, for you to get a proper machine, you need to, first of all, identify the type of the machine you want, because there are several types of machines on the market doing the same job, but determines on the type you want and the, the model it is. So right, so if you want the, 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 the recent machine for the Prota, definitely you have to visit the people called, they are called Archeries. It's a company that sells machines from Germany. They'll give you the nice machine, and trust me, for them, they'll follow up their machine to come to your site, they'll sell it's working, then you report to them, and, and their price is favorable because my machines, I got them from them, mm -hmm. and they are quite nice. You've used them for how long now? Uh, I've used them for something like seven years now, Okay. and they're already doing well. Okay. have no problem with them yet mm -hmm. and uh, and secondly for him to have a printing business you should understand that you need to know where your customers are where you're going to get the customers from uh, in our business of printing you, we, we we intend to go to the customers like when other business like when customers have to come to you right for us we visit them where they are then you serve them where they are because our customers are quite very minimal and we are quite a big market. So when you visit them, that's another service offered. Can I take you back to the machines and him going about how he can go about purchasing this? Because I'm, I'm trying to think, let's give him two options. Um, he's just starting out. For example, if he cannot afford getting a brand new machine or these two machines, is there a possibility of him getting a second-hand machine that will pretty much get him started? Sure, he can. Okay. There are a few machines in German where there, there are some dealers who can sell them to you. I have some people I know, I have, I have some contacts, and those guys in archeries that can get you the used and the new machine, so it depends on your budget. Okay. And they give credit, which really can suit his, his budget, not selling the other machine to buy the other one, as he said. But if he goes to them, they can give him a nice idea and the machine he wants. So what you're saying today is he needs to just let go of the first you know, seller that he had. This yeah. online platform. Yeah, because now when you buy on online, I don't know whether he visited the site. He did. He did. And then the prices doubled. With what he had, they had given him earlier. Exactly. Oh wow, that's a very bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> you could try to visit Archeries. They're just around the corner here at the, is it? I think that's Uganda Road. 
you can visit them and they'll at first me they'll give him the machine he wants All right. and he will be able to test it even before he takes it mm. at the good rate there's a I'm warranty sure. there's a warranty i'm For sure how many years how much warranty uh, they're giving 12 months okay 12 months warranty and Pretty they can help him. Yeah. yeah, definitely. All right. Okay. So let's assume that now he gets to that point. He's going to make his choice whether to get second-hand machines or brand new machines. Like he has these machines. Of course, I'm sure he has already, you know, some premises, so to speak. What is the first step? He did point out to the customers, but in terms of getting the systems and structures working, where should he start? Um, he could start with him knowing where your customers are because when you're starting up a business the first thing is know you're going to sell from right you not know, just stay up so if he gets to know who are my customers who people need my business who needs my services then he visits them he should be sure that he should be able to provide the quality you know in business of printing quality is the key so in our business of, of printing and what he says protein if you don't so if you don't supply a good material or a nice work trust me you won't have customers however much you have the machinery and your work is not good and if a customer tells you this is what i want i don't give him what he wants for us in our business they reject it mm -hmm. and that's it really for it affects people who are starting up business because they want to over have the profit than what you calculated before you know when you're when you're going to do a business you calculate your profits then you cut right then they give you the business so in the course of the business you may try to earn more profit than what you can first, then you start maneuvering around with the, with the work, then eventually it doesn't come all right. So you should get to know what a customer wants and he provides what he wants. Okay. Yeah. So quality, yes. get to know what your customer exactly. wants, and also make sure that you get your pricing right. Exactly. Don't overquote as exactly. you start. Exactly. All right. You say that in this business you have to go to where the customer is. Can you break that down for him? Yeah. You know, it rarely you few customers that will come to your offices those who are having like small margin of business but those who have big margin of business trust me you have to visit them first and tell them what you do because you know you're new in the business that means they don't know you so you need to introduce yourself to them so the customer who comes to you is only that one who knows you so you can only get better customers when he visits them where they are and he identifies where they are mm -hmm. and identify what they want all right. Yeah. And you know, that's another whole ball game altogether. Yeah. But just for his sake, let's break it down. Let's ensure that he has 100% information on the mm. same. So he has to visit this customer. What should he do? Do I start booking appointments? Um, what is the first step with going out? Of course, you just can't go randomly to any office. Definitely. So what's the step? What has worked for you so far? What has worked for me is to identify people who need my service first. Then after identifying them, so come up with a list. Yes. Okay. Then you seek appointment to meet them. They think they'll ask you, "Why do you want to meet us?" Explain to them what you want to meet them because you already know they need the service. They'll give you the appointment. Others will deny it. So, but for those who have given the appointment, make sure you use that time profitable to you. Tell them exactly. Be precise. Tell them exactly what you can do for them okay. and what you can offer, and make sure you can offer a less price what the person was previously providing them and a good quality and timely. Your, your, your delivery should be on time. Mm -hmm. That's what they like mostly. Your so, delivery has to be on exactly. time. Exactly. You know, however much in our business you provide nice, nice work, for example, you have an order for the t-shirts and the function is tomorrow and they're very good and you provide them with the following and they're very nice. <laughs> <laughs> however much they are good, they won't take them. Lost sale. Exactly. Mm. So you need to, time is the best key for our business. Time is the best key. Exactly. All right. Jamil, you know what? Um, so he'll get this right. He'll get this customers and stuff like that. But what other aspect should he not miss out on? You did point out to the fact that most of the clients will not come to where he is. He has to go there. What other thing will keep him in business over and above quality, over and above approaching these clients? Let's talk about the systems and bookkeeping. How important is it? Um, bookkeeping in our business is very important. How? Excuse me. Um, when you're starting up a business, you have no skills. You have no. Our skills are provided in books. They will ask you which work have you done related to this. So if you don't keep your records, trust me, you have no proof of that. And customers always want to deal with a person who has capital, who can do their work on what they call like a purchase order. You'll be able to deliver on time without telling them, "I have no money." So they want to see your records of finance, how, how good you are. So 
Bookkeeping is very important in our business. You have to keep every record because at a certain point you will need it. You will need it, and it's one of you. That's what shows you that you are in business for this time of this time around. If you don't have no records of your business, definitely they won't give you business because they have no proof that you have been there for all that long. Right. Yeah. Okay, so make sure that every coin is accounted for. Exactly. Record every single Exactly. Thing. All right, okay. You know, when you start off a business, and pretty much I'm sure that you've also seen this, is that um, it's very important to ensure that your systems work and that you have something that is very tight because also employees can play games with you. So how does he go about that? Because maybe, for example, he's setting off on a partnership. Many do. Okay. They're like, okay, fine, I can't make sure, I, I, I can't have put this. the initial capital myself. Mm -hmm. Self, how about I join forces and start this business with other people? Let's not even talk of employees, just mm. the partners. If he's maybe choosing that route where he guns up with maybe two, three of his friends to start off the business, what should he put in place to ensure they don't play games on him? Because we've seen people who are Doing playing that, yeah. games on each other. Um, for him to, to start up a business with partnership grounds, you should get to know that you have the one, one aim with all the partners. You are aiming at developing the business, not getting out of the business. You know, there are times when the business, you have to support it and you don't get a pain out of it, but you are supporting it to grow. So when you have the same aim with your partners, like you are growing up the business, definitely the partners you're dealing with, you need to judge them according to what they wish. What are they wishing the business? Are they partners to develop the business? Are they partners to get the profit when someone gives you like, let's say someone has invested in one million. Mm -hmm. Does he need his, his one million and a profit there and then after the business, or he wants to invest one million for the for the period of time? Trust me, if you have a partner who gets, who can tell you, you know, I give you one million, I'm out of the partnership with you, and I need one million back. That means your profit, your capital lowers down, so that affects you. So you need to judge your your partner as well. Are they? Do we have the same aim to start up this business? If you have the same aim, that's good for you. But most of the partners come to, to the board because they look at one profit, mm. one area of profit, which is not good. So because when setting up a business, you should know that there are losses and there are profits. At the time of losses, is the best partner a part of you, and the time of the profit, is that partner a part of you? And snitching out from, the, uh, from, from your partners in our business is quite not easy how. Because we get our orders on record. Mm. So you will know that I've supplied these items, and it's the amount of money we're demanding from them. So it's very rare for your partner to start thinking around with you because right. we both of you know how much you're profiting and how much you're injecting the business. Right. So just to identify one area, are we having the same aim okay. with my partners? And is it advisable as you come to a close to just get, you know, um, agreements or contracts, right? You know, you just sign something that a lawyer is, you know, privy to just to ensure that if there's conflict, then the resolution measures that you can go about. Yeah, d d you know, that's the paperwork. Right. But you're on the ground. Paperwork, if you're starting up a partnership, there will be paperwork because the, the books of your books have to show, the one of our association has to show that you are partners. These are my shares, these are shares. But on the ground, both of you have to. In have to inject in what what I inject in is what you inject in okay. at the end of the day. So what you're saying is don't take anything for granted. Exactly. It doesn't matter if you've been buddies for quite a long time. Make sure that the paperwork is, is up is, to date. Exactly. Thank you so much. As we come to a close, what other thing would you like to tell Hakim? Uh, I'll tell Hakim that you have a nice choice. This is not a bad business. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not. Okay. I'll not advise him badly. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, it's a nice business. And take note that if you start up a business of printing, it's, it's, it's not something like that you can just walk out of it. When you start it up, make sure you stick with it. Provide what you can provide at the, 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 the time you required from you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Jamil K. Chagaba, the CEO of Data Line Graphics. Of course, his company did was actually the winner of the mid size company in twenty companies in twenty eighteen. So he's the best fit for you. I hope that you've taken note, all right? Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. All right, Hakim, I'll be keen to get to understand what your journey is like once you start off, all right? The number is on your screen, zero seven five zero nine three three zero eight eight. For you, the business person, if you have any business related challenges or 
or queries that's the number that you use just get your smartphone do a voice recording or a video recording and send it to that particular whatsapp number and right here we'll be able to give you solutions just for those with the key mission of transforming our country's economy a business at a time don't go too far we'll be back with david rukasi with our take note conversation How was Gulu for you? Gulu has been blazing hot, no yeah. doubt about that. And the dance auditions have been steaming hot. This 